Hey Anonymi, I am here with Junior. Say hey Junior. Hi. And we are going to do a 10 roll challenge and each pick 10 rolls from this. See if we can find any Nipsies, Silver, Commemoratives. We've already checked there are no Enders <coughs> it or doesn't, Nipsies. It doesn't look like a good Ender box. Uh oh, there's a roll missing. I think the baby took that out. It might be upstairs. Oh, yeah. We'll go get that. I but that. but uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Go ahead and no, come here and pick 10 rolls. Okay. We'll get that roll later. I'm like, I know where that is. I'm just going to be boring and pick the 10 on my end, and um, like he said, we didn't see any enders, so um, I'll just open one roll here live, and then we'll flip into pause mode if we don't see anything, and like that, I don't see any silver. Um, some of the rims are semi-bright, but they don't look like Nifsies or anything. We're looking for error coins, 70... Twos with no FGs, 83s, 82s in nice condition. Um, at this stage, we're, we think anything that's BU is probably worth keeping. We don't know how long a half dollar is going to last. And if they end up melting all these down one day, um, it every year would become a key date. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So we keep BU ones. There aren't really that many BU ones in circulation, but FG on that. So that's my first roll. I didn't see much. Uh, this is me stacking up my 74 Ds. We're looking for the DDO, and I check for those separately after. The... I don't think I don't. Have so any. here's Junior. So he's looking for rims here, and I agree. I don't see silver. A um, couple of bright ones, but I don't think they're. Much. 93, 71, 2000. <clears throat> so anyway, first two rolls, we don't see anything silver, but we will pause. And if we find something cool or a rim, we'll circle you back in. Okay, so I've continued on through this box, but Junior just finished his 10 for the 10 roll challenge, and he has won. I found nothing. That was the ninth roll. In his ninth roll, he finally got a 2005 Denver. No. Philadelphia, Nifsey. So he won the challenge, and we will finish out this roll, or this box. Still not finding much. We found a fake, exciting fake rim here. 72 silver plated. We can know it's like plated because but, it was like, it has like the weird toning and stuff. Yeah, it looked fake for sure. Plus so, it feels way different from all. We'll let you know. We're going to finish out this box and see if maybe we can find something, anything, in this dry, dry box. This is what my boxes look like. All right, we'll let you know. Okay, so we finished this box here. Junior won that coin battle. He had the 2005 that we showed you before. We found that silver-plated 72 fake-out shiny rim. It looked fake. I, I said fake when I saw it, but it looked silvery, not normal. Uh, we found a few BU coins that are probably worth keeping. Like, I've got a tube where I put 1970s, and so I'll take that 74D, slide it in there. 71. Little nick on his cheek, otherwise it's fresh. It's not the most lustrous 71D, but it's fresh. And then, mm, I'm seeing this in the light, I'm on the edge. This is a 1991, it's in very good shape. It's probably mint, mint state, but it's low mint state. You could cut open a mint set and find something nicer for not very much money. Um, I'm on the fence with this one. We'll see how my tube is looking with these. This is a pretty decent grade. It's probably MS62-3. Uh, the luster is not phenomenal. Now, the only thing in the box really worth tooting the horn about, we found another 1974 Denver DDO. Now, the... Um, thing with these DDOs is they're, they're not worth a fortune, but uh, they are the primary DDO that you're going to find in this series. And so um, this one is in fairly good condition. There's still a little bit of that mint luster cartwheel of light there. And when you're looking for this, maybe I'll switch over to the scope. The most obvious spot for me is the downstroke on the R to look for the doubling. Also the bottom of the four there. I think I will. Let me hit the pause button and we'll flip over to the scope. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get a little closer to the monitor here and shift this around ever 
or so slightly. One of the first prominent marks that you'll notice on the 74 DDO is the downstroke on the R. If I can get the lighting right, it really will accentuate the line running down the middle of that R. So you can see the doubling there on the R. And you can see that there's also some doubling on the E. The R just to me is the easiest thing to see. The S is extra thick. And then there's a couple of points out here on the T. The U shows doubling, especially near the bottom of the coin. And then on the four, like I was saying, right here, you can see that's the best spot to look for the doubling on the four, is at the bottom of this serif sticking out. Hope you can see that R. I think that's about the best angle I'm gonna get for you. You can see the line running right down the middle. Normally that's a pencil thin downstroke on the R. And then you can see the doubling in the middle of the U. The S is extra thick, especially on the bottom. This T has a couple of points, and there are other die markers um, up here at the top of the coin. They're a little more difficult to see. I think this T is one of the better spots. Um, you can kind of see right here there's some slop. This should be nice and crisp and pointy, and there's some slop there. But this, to me, is a fairly good condition, um, low mint state. I think if I sent this in, I'd probably get an MS-61, maybe a 62 if I'm lucky. Uh, it's it was a really nice 74 DD uh, a 74 Denver anyway just being in the in the box so pulling it out I thought well that might be a keeper and then I got excited this is a very nice example uh, this even if you send it in for grading this is not a big money coin it would you would definitely recover your grading costs it would be worth in the 30s maybe but uh, you wouldn't be making a ton of money so this is something you hang on to in a little two by two and if you're feeling crazy one day or you need to finish off a credit with a submission company go ahead and send it in but for now i'll hang on to it and label it and that's it for that box so just remember every box is not a home run we haven't found silver in a while and i try not to upload this the stinky boxes but um this is a stinky box apart from this one coin and i thought i'd show you and thanks for watching, guys. Click that like button, subscribe to us, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy hunting.